why does every art teacher make me paint a color wheel? I know what colors are. I hear y'all, and I hear it all the time. And the truth is, colors and how you use them are extremely important and complicated. We've been talking a lot about color choices and color vocabulary in our class because it's important for us to understand its effects on our artworks. Basic color theory will be essential when I ask you to use color harmonies and color schemes in your future artworks as well. The way you use color combinations affects the mood in your artwork and could provoke different emotions depending on which culture you are in. It changes where the emphasis is in your artwork and oftentimes serves as a powerful symbol. In fact, many companies do extensive research on colors because they know it has an effect on their product. Think about McDonald's. What bright color do you instantly think of? Yes, yellow! Primary colors in art class and painting are different than those of physics and primary colors of light. When we talk about primary colors when painting, we are talking about the three colors used to mix and make all other colors. These are red, blue, and yellow. Mixing colors is not as easy as it looks. You should be having fun while experimenting, even if you don't get it right the first time. Secondary colors are those created by mixing two primary colors. These are green, purple, and orange. Tertiary colors, also known as intermediary colors, are those that are a mixture of a primary and secondary color. They're a little more complicated, but they're easy to identify. For example, yellow-orange, blue-green, and yellow-green. They're easily identifiable because they always have two colors in their name. They also always have a little more of one color than another. Yellow-orange has a little more yellow in it than it does red. Remember, yellow and red mixed together make orange, but to make yellow-orange, you make sure there is more yellow than red in the mixture. The next thing you need to know is tints and shades. When your family is thinking about painting a room, they go to Home Depot or a paint store and get those long strips of paper with different colored paint on them, right? These are called paint chips or paint strips. These paint chips allow your family to see different shades and tints of a color to see which one looks best in the room. When I introduce the idea of tinting to students, they usually think about tinted car windows and darker colors. But in fact, tinting and painting is the exact opposite. A tint is made by adding white to a color, while a shade is made by adding a black to a color. Think about shadows. They are dark, right? That's how I remember what a shade is. When mixing a tint or shade when painting, Remember to only add a little bit of white or black at a time. White and black are powerful and can easily overpower your color. Once that happens, it can be harder to get the original hue. Let's go ahead and take a minute to review the color wheel. Remember we have primary colors, which are the three colors used to make all other colors. Remember those are red, blue, and yellow and they make a wonderful little triangle on the color wheel. Then we have secondary colors which are purple, orange, and green. Again they make another little triangle on the color wheel. There are three of them and those secondary colors are used to mix the tertiary colors. So tertiary colors, remember, they are a mixture of primary and secondary. So you have red purple, you have red orange, you have yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, and blue purple. Remember, they are also called intermediary colors. So sometimes you'll hear me refer to them as tertiary or intermediary colors, and there are six of these. Now let's go ahead and look at some examples. This one uses complementary colors. Complementary colors is a color scheme where 
colors on the opposite side of the color wheel are used to create pop. So in that artwork here, you will see red put next to green. When you put a color next to each other that is on the opposite side of the color wheel, it's called a complementary color. It makes them stand out. So you've got red, green, red and green, you've got purple and yellow, and you've got orange and blue. All of those colors, again, are on opposite sides of the color wheel. That is why it's so important for us to learn about colors and color theory, because they play different roles in how we view an artwork.